you know, banner moments have certainly become difficult to come by over the last two weeks. Concerns abound with the team, and rightfully so. And this episode will surely focus almost exclusively on what's gone wrong with the Hoosiers, because frankly, it's been a while since something has gone right. But long ago, back when this show first started, we made a commitment to always start every show by finding something positive to say about the program we love. Because while candid, knowledgeable, and nuanced analysis has always been a pillar of this show, so too are a spirit of support for the program and a desire to create a conversation and a community that IU fans actually want to be a part of, win or lose. So while the general tone of online discourse has shifted around us in the last eight years, growing ever more polarized, ever more impersonal, ever more impatient, and ever more infused with negativity and rancor, we unapologetically hold firm to our belief that critiquing what is wrong with IU basketball can and should be balanced by pointing out what's right and always keeping an eye toward the bigger picture. Now, that doesn't mean that the amounts of good or bad will always be equal in any given show. That can, of course, shift by the game or by the week based on the team's play. But it does mean that you can count on us to not take the easy, lazy way out and just claim that everything is wrong and everyone sucks. While audiences can clearly be built doing this, this wouldn't be an audience we'd be proud to serve. But we are proud to serve you. And part of that commitment to you is to find even the slimmest silver lining through the darkest of dark clouds because, call me crazy, but until the heart of Indiana basketball no longer beats, there will always be something to believe in. So here goes this week's banner moment. Despite four straight losses, long stretches of non-competitiveness, and a dwindling 12-6 and record, Indiana remains solidly in NCAA tournament projections. Andy Bottoms, whose opinion we trust more than anyone else's, has the Hoosiers as an eight seed in his latest projections. It's a tip of the cap to the work Indiana did in the non-conference portion of the schedule and a sign of respect for the Big Ten and the high quality of teams that Indiana has lost to. Granted, the Hoosiers can only take on so much water before their resume sinks beyond rescue. But even as bad as things feel right now, this is still a team that would be in the NCAA tournament if it were held today. Now they just need to start playing like it again, and they have a golden opportunity to do so tonight. Let's hope they do.